This near record snow season has boosted Sierra business and dented the drought, but those are not the only changes we're seeing in our mountains. Scientists have found tiny particles called microplastics in newly fallen snow in the Sierra. As John Ramos reports, scientists say this is part of a growing global problem. Typically, the concern over plastic pollution has centered on our waterways, but now there's growing evidence that it may actually exist in the air around us. The snow that's fallen in the Sierra holds hope for an end to the drought, but it may also hold a warning. For the past two years, Dr. Monica Arienzo, an associate professor for the Desert Research Institute, has tested high Sierra snow in several locations and found something that shouldn't be there tiny plastic fibers in the new fallen snow. What we found so far is that some of our sites do have microplastics in them. We've identified nylon and rayon so far. We still have a lot of work to do uh, to compare between these sites and then compare from year to year. It's not the only place where plastic should be out of place. Environmental researchers have also found microplastic fibers, like those in synthetic fabrics, in the pristine waters and snow of the Arctic region. It is a piece of microplastic. It's a piece of polyester floating out there uh, in Antarctic waters. We don't know what the biological consequences of that are at the moment. What we do know is that these microplastics are there, that exposure is occurring, and really it shouldn't be occurring. This is part of a man-made problem that has now gone global. The tiny fibers showing up in snow and rain is part of a growing body of evidence that the consequences of man's obsession with plastic are now being carried to even the most remote corners of the world. And it's likely the mechanism that these microplastics are also turning up in the high Arctic and in the in Antarctic, because these are so tiny they can be carried um, in long range atmospheric transport through the air. Dr. Lisa Ertl with the Five Gyres Institute has helped study plastic pollution in San Francisco Bay and says it appears that the problem is only worsening. We did a study just published last week where we looked at 40 years of microplastics in the world's oceans and from about 2005 we see a rapid rise in the amount of plastic that's in the oceans and this is a similar trend in, in habitats and wildlife around the world. The evidence is clear, but there are still questions about how much, if at all, such small fibers may affect man or even living creatures. But Dr. Arienzo says finding plastics in unlikely places has become so common, researchers now expect to find it. We actually wrote our first proposal to look at microplastics in Lake Tahoe. And we were actually told by a lot of people we wouldn't find any. and. Pretty much everywhere I've looked in Tahoe, I have found microplastics. Dealing with a problem this big and this tiny can feel a bit hopeless, but scientists say we can do a better job of capturing the plastic before it gets into the environment. And of course, it wouldn't hurt to simply create less of it. Last year, California became the first government in the world to require water agencies to test for microplastics.